So hello, Fan Splash fans. Welcome to the second official Fan Splash Showdown. Let's uh, introduce our competitors. First, we have Scott the Shazam Fox. <laughs> Facing him, we have Jesse on Sabaner Swift. On Sabaner! On Sabaner! Now, bring her to the table, they both have their strengths and weaknesses. For Scott, we've got DC and war movies. Weaknesses are going to be romantic comedies and horror movies. For Jesse, we've got strengths being DCU and MCU. His weaknesses, action and sci-fi. Alright, so to start this off, we're going to start with a rock, paper, scissors to see who leads the round. Go ahead and go, guys. Uh, best two out of three, or just one shot? Uh, just one shot. One shot. Ah, Alright, so it looks like nuts. Scott is going to be leading. Rules. That's already one victory right here. <laughs> so, so, rules are simple. Uh, we're going to be keeping the points right here on this piece of paper. Um, round one, we're going to start with eight questions asked by asked for both competitors. Uh, you'll have 15 seconds to provide your answers on the whiteboards. Um, correct answer is worth one point. And uh, so we're just going to read the rules off for each round. So first question. In the Iron Man trilogy, Pepper Potts is allergic to only one thing. What is it? You have 15 seconds. Go. That's great. That's a great question, and I hope I remember it correctly. And you guys good? Yep. Cool. Time. What do we have? Peanuts. Strawberries is the correct <gasps> answer. <gasps> Jesse gets the first point. <laughs> Man. Alright. Come on, old man. You gotta catch Was that out. Iron Man 2? That was Iron Man 2. Alright, I'll cut. Alright. So, in, uh, in the CW show Arrow, which actress plays the role of Thea Queen? <laughs> and stop. I don't know this, so... What do we have? Martin Freeman? Martin Freeman. <laughs> Willa Holland is the oh, correct man. answer. Right. Man. I don't think I spelled Arrow. Oh. <sighs> okay. Next uh, question, also in the DCU. In uh, the Justice League trailer, Batman states that a stranger came in on the what? You have 15 seconds. Let's see what we have. Uh, King's Tide. King's Tide is the correct answer. Holy cow, I'm getting annihilated right now. Alright. This one's going to be an animated question. That's alright, Scotty. Yeah, it's depressing. <laughs> That's alright. So. Millennial question so far. <laughs> Millennial question so far. So, okay. In, uh, in Toy Story 2, what's the name of the man that captures Woody? Hmm. Let's see what we've got. Al. Al is correct. It's a point for both of you guys. I'm finally on the board. All no, right. I wouldn't have remembered that, but I swear two weeks ago somebody said something about Al's toy barn. Yeah. <laughs> but like, otherwise I would have had no idea. That's a, you, know, you never know how this is going to turn out. Like, so it's, it's pretty impressive so far. All right. Question three. And, uh, in, or question, sorry, we're on question five. Uh, in Monsters, Inc., Boo refers to Sully by what name? I almost instinctively just blurted it out because that's just what Pixar does. Alright guys, go ahead and show your answers. Kitty. Kitty. Kitty is the correct answer. Right. Scott's Here's finding his stride now. Yeah. Just start starting to get on your stride. Okay, I'm going to break to another topic. In, uh, in the Serenity movie, mm. Wash dies saying what line? He's a leaf on the blink. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and show your answer. 
Wind is the correct answer. You know what's hilarious is I've never seen that. I just leaf on the wind is like a saying I thought I heard one. So <laughs> that's his whole mantra. When he flies. When he flies, he's a leaf on the wind. That's right. Okay. I watched half of Firefly, so that's where I got it. Uh, Serenity is great. So yes, is Firefly. Like... Bring it back. Yeah, come on, Whedon. What are you doing? All right. So, and uh, the next question is going to be: What is Lando wearing at the end of Empire Strikes Back? This here is question seven. What is Lando? I can turn that on vibrate. Oh, I should go ahead and take that because I don't need the wheel yet. You ready? All right. Uh, so the answers. I was blanked on that. Han Solo's jacket. More than just oh. Han Solo's jacket, he's actually wearing a Han Solo's shirt as well. He's dressed just like Han Solo. It's weird. Watch it for yourself. So um, I so, forgot who it was, but somebody justified why that makes sense for me. But I won't get into it. All right. Now, this is the final question for the first round, right? I believe we have one more. Yeah, because I'm yeah, that's seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's totally eight. Man. So. You cleaned up. This one's going to be a fantasy question. Uh-oh. So. Maybe. Let's see what we've got. And the Lord of the Rings, Aragorn, is referred to by what nickname? Not sure about the spelling. Go ahead and check your answers. Strider. Strider it is. Ah, you did it with a Y. Correctly done. Yeah. That was a cheer. Go ahead and give you that still. I spell it with an I. So just I think in the book it's with a Y. Alright. Boom. So but that that's leads right. that leads the first round. Uh, Jesse's over here with eight points and Scott is with four. He clean swept the entire first round. Nice job. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the correct answer is a whole, whole way <laughs> So that's impressive. Bro, don't, don't. I had to find a chink in his armor. I'm so trying to, I'm trying to keep it G-rated, but just G don't have with me. <laughs> okay, it'll, it'll get there. So um, moving on to round two. So we're going to do 15 seconds again. Uh, the stakes are raised. Three questions per challenger. Uh, correct oh, wait, answers wait. are worth two points. You get it wrong and you receive nothing. Uh, spin the wheel and we're going to get the topic. We're going to start off with uh, Scott over here. Mm -hmm. So Shazam, you'll get to go first. And your topic is animated. All right. There you go. He's got the so. advantage of kids, so we'll see how this helps him. <laughs> In the movie Kubo and the Two Strings, what relatives <clears throat> come to fight him? Uh, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know. Okay. Would you like to steal the answer for one point? No, nope, but I would like to say that yesterday... I was sitting on my server, and I'm like, am I going to watch Kubo or Arrival? And I chose Arrival. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so the answer for the watchers is his grandfather and two aunts. <sighs> so. Yeah, All right. Next is Jesse. Let's see what we've got here. Your topic is going to be? Not Kubo, hopefully. <laughs> Fantasy. All right. So. Take a second to get through here. All right. In Maleficent. What animal is her loyal servant? A raven. Raven is correct. That's one point for Jesse. Haven't seen it, but I saw the original. Boom. All right. Scott, return to you. Let's see if you got this. Those were two points, right? Oh, uh, this two points. Sense. Yes. Fantasy. All right. What item uh, forces Dovey from Lucius in uh, Chamber of Secrets? A sock. A sock is the correct answer. I knew it. All right, that's Any two article points. of clothing will set him free. Right. Dobby is a free elf. <laughs> Dobby is free. Dobby loves Harry Potter. All right. Now, last. Master's <laughs> giving Dobby a sock. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dobby is free. We could do this all day. Yeah. So, last question in this round is for Jesse. Let's see what our topic is. Well, it's three each, isn't it? It was two each. Three each for oh, this. Oh, three? Yeah, so three each. Okay. My apologies. It's three each, so we've got one more round. Uh, this is DC Extended Let's Universe. Let's go! <laughs> Let's do it. All right. We've got this is my second there. question, correct? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So, in uh, Suicide Squad, which mm. member dies first? Oh, Slipknot. Slipknot is the correct answer. Two points it is. 
All right. And that is whole 30 seconds in the film, or 15. Yeah. Well, he did punch a woman before that. Because <laughs> he, he had to escape. He's a classy individual. All right. So, Scott, yours it's... looks like it's more animated. All right. <laughs> so... Animated again. Here we go. Animated It also again. says it down there, clearly. Uh, like, if you can't oh, read the Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that actually helps a lot. There so. you go. All right. In Zootopia, Nick and Judy slip past guard wolves by starting a what? Fire. I haven't seen the movie. That is wrong. All right. I, I haven't seen like Zootopia either. So the answer... <laughs> Animated's destroying us. <laughs> so the depressing. answer is Nick and Judy slip by the guard wolves by starting a howl. Oh. No. So... I, oh, I was, the other wolves, that would make sense. I, I should have right. said, well, I was thinking Riot, but I was like, that's not, that's too vague. I was going to go generic and say distraction. <laughs> <laughs> Starting a distraction wouldn't be too far off, but that wasn't yeah. the answer I was looking for. Right. So, final question for Jesse. What topic are we going to have? Not Probably animated. his wheelhouse. Probably animated. Animated. Oh. Animated. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. So this is going to be in Shrek 2. Thank you for something not in the yeah. last year. Yes. yes. <laughs> Donkey, hey, hey, I mean, you got to keep up with it. Huh? <laughs> I guess. Donkey is transformed into what in Shrek 2? The stallion. The stallion. Yeah. The stallion baby. Dang. <sighs> All right, and that's two more points for Jesse. So that's ending second round Oof, with Jesse man, being at 14 points. <laughs> hey, and kid. Mr. Scott being over here at six. Man. This is abysmal. Alright, so round three is spin the wheel, you get your topic. You can spin again, however, the point value is half. Oh, wait. No, you're asked three questions at random. Oh. So I, I apologize. So I read rules, that was rules for round two. Um, so yeah, in round three, you will each be asked three questions at random. First one worth one point. Second one worth three points. And the third is worth five. Okay. So... It's a chance to catch up. This I need is, all of them. Yeah. So, first question is in... I'll break away from animated for you guys. In, <laughs> so bad. Okay, for Scott, since you're old. In the original Battlestar Galactica series, oh who plays Lieutenant Boomer? Wow. Uh, I don't know. The answer is Herbert Jefferson Jr. <laughs> Did you Who? know that? I'm Star-Lord, man. <laughs> I'm Star-Lord, man. Oh, oh right. man, that is... That was rough. That's okay. Okay. These are so, good questions. Yes. Holy cow. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Very so, uh, Jesse. Mm-hmm. So your question is going to be, in the movie Ant-Man, which rapper appeared? The name that's coming to mind is not the right one. I I I don't have it. It's, I want. I'm gonna say LL Cool J, but it's not. I can't no, think of his name. LL cool I can't think of his name. But Maybe I mean, Deep Blue Sea. I, I, I freaking know it. <laughs> there though. were no sharks. You're gonna so. say it. I'm gonna punch myself in the face. The answer is Ti. Yeah. So. Ouch. Well, at me. least I didn't fall further in the hole here. All right. <sighs> Was that my three-point question? No, that was your one. That was your first question. Yeah, yeah. You didn't lose yeah, much. The first question was only worth one point. So. Why was the first question for one point so hard? Because <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> random. Gonna get harder. They're random. I know. <laughs> dear goodness, I'm in trouble. Okay, so I mean, it's it's not gonna get entirely harder. Let's see where we're at. So Scott, in the Lego Batman movie, what is the passcode for the Batcave? I I know this. Uh, this is worth three points. A good question. Um, Bruce Wayne? No, not at all. So the answer is Iron Man Sucks. Oh, oh, dang it. <laughs> I just right. saw that like a week and a half Yeah, ago. I saw that too. And I, I, I laughed at it during the movie and I thought it was hilarious, but I, it didn't <sighs> register now. Okay. Uh, man. All right. So we're going to break over. I was thinking of one words. Yeah. I was thinking of a phrase. Not that I could have stolen it anyways, but... No. Okay. Ouch. It's, it's okay. No, that's... Don't, don't be yourself up. 
So please do, <laughs> Jesse. In the movie Underworld, there has been an internal war between which two species? Oh, thank God! That's the, as far as it goes. Lichens and vampires. Lichens and vampires is correct. If so you ask any deeper of a oh, question about those movies, on. nothing. Would I do so that was his three-point answer. Oh, yeah. lichens and vampires. Oh. Okay, so Scott oh, softball. <laughs> that's alright I need this 5 points I need this 5 okay. points here we go alright so this one is a 5 point question alright in the Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay movie this is our comedy genre by the way they fall into whose house Escape from Guantanamo uh, Fidel Castro nope the answer is George Bush. Oh. I would have been wrong. I would have just said Neil Patrick Harris because I know he's in those movies. Or at least one I was day. thinking somewhere around Cuba. So, <laughs> all right, it's trying to at least be geographically relevant. Now we're starting to see where their genres really are stronger and weaker. All right, five point question for Jesse. Okay, softball, please. Batter up. Yeah. Well, let, let's see. Let's Uh-oh. see. This one is actually. I, gonna be I a upset the gods. <laughs> This one's going to be a quote. In Shanghai Noon, what is the oh. inspirational line that Jackie says? Uh, and he borrows it from Roy O'Bannon. Oh my god, I hate myself right now. It's a great movie. Yeah, I've only seen it 3,000 times. Um, y- yippee ki Nope. The answer is the sun may rise in the east, but it sets in the west. Ah, that was such a good question. <laughs> so both are out of the five-point question. Oh, Moving on to the next round. This one's the speed round now. I love that. Okay, first one to shout it out, right? So, yeah, first one to shout it out gets the point. Uh, there's <laughs> going to be eight questions, each worth one point. I got a deep pull to dig out if I need every one of these. But... Okay. In the film Sausage Party, Frank thought he pissed off the gods by doing what? Exiting his package? The answer is touching tips. Oh, okay. I t- didn't know that. No worries. Uh, this one's going to be in the action genre. In the movie 300, King Leonidas kicks a messenger into the pit saying, This is Sparta! Jesse gets the point. Yes. This is Sparta. <laughs> I was just waiting. Like the second he said three hundred, I was like, "If the answer is this is Sparta." <laughs> okay. This movie brought together generations of the best action heroes. What was it? Expendables. Expendables is correct. Another point for Jesse. Expendables. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Turn the slow motion off. Scott. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> clearly my age is showing. <laughs> so, my brain's not firing as fast. In Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire, what does Harry consume to breathe under? Gillyweed. Gillyweed is correct. Scott gets a point. Faster than Jesse. I actually There's didn't even know. <laughs> didn't even know. Damn. Okay. I was going to say polyjuice. <laughs> <laughs> he said breathe underwater. I was like, I don't remember that. <laughs> so, in the Hobbit finale, Benedict Cumberbatch voiced which two Smaug characters? Smaug and the Necromancer. Scott is correct. Mm. Mm. All right. <laughs> so, Shazam! <laughs> so, okay. Now we're leading on to question five. All right. Good. Which character... Oh, I'm going to skip that one. In Ferris Bueller's Day Off, what Beatles song is performed in the parade? Donka Shane? No. Um, hold on. Uh, By all means, I know this song. It's there's a big parade. They're running down the street. Come together. No. No. The answer is twist and shout. Dang it. Okay. I'm actually gonna seen. stay in the comedy for this one. Okay. I've seen. So, it. I've seen it three times. Answer sure. six. This one should kind of help you guys out. And uh, question six. Uh, in American Pie movies, mm. this known troublemaker also has a milf. Stiff. Stiff. Fuck! Scott wins. <laughs> uh, okay. And then, I believe there's two more questions. 
Yep, two more questions. All right. Good question. Too. These are great. Good job, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo. These are, these are really hard. All right. And well versed. That's yeah. what I appreciate. And the Die Hard movies, Bruce Willis faced two brothers in separate films. Who played them? Um, Alan Rickman and Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons, correct. Oh, I didn't All think right. I knew that. <sighs> okay. Wow. It's a good pull. I knew the Alan Rickman. I couldn't remember who played the other one. This is another actor question, actually. All right. Which two actors played Judge Dredd? Carl so, Urban and Sylvester so Stallone. Ah, All right. Ah, I'll get that one. So, leading away from that round, we've got <laughs> Jesse with 20 points and Scott with 10. Wow. So, nice work. Nice work. Final question. Uh, each of you guys can... Bet your points for one final stand, um, or as little as you want. And I will wager be all <laughs> on the whiteboard. Please. So you bet all, you bet ten, you go up ten. You bet twenty, you go up twenty. If you get or, it right, if you get it right, or you lose everything. So final question. Oh, oh, we we Let's, write the answer and how much we bet. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna write the answer on your board and how much you bet. I should not write it that big then. Okay. Okay. No changing your point values. No, nope, no, nope, it, it's on there. If you can see it. This one is really going to test if you guys are nerds. <laughs> what two infinity items were in the treasure room in the movie Thor? You guys ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead and show us your boards. The Tesseract and the Ether. Wrong. Jesse actually wins. It's the Infinity Gauntlet and the Eye of Alvamoto. <laughs> the Time Stone oh. would have also been correct. What's that? The Time Stone would have also been correct. Oh. So, so Jesse wins 25 to 0. Ouch. And actually, I mean, I, uh, the Tesseract was one of them because they were... It was the test reactor or was it the ice cube thing? Or I, that, I guess it was the ice cube thing. Yeah, that, we don't really know what that was. Well, no, we don't. Because yeah. I, I but, thought about that. I was like, oh, the blue cube. That's not the test reactor. That's not the test reactor. <laughs> so the, the answer is the Infinity Gauntlet and the Eye of Agamotto or the Time Stone. How did it get so, from there to seemingly been in the Sanctum forever or whatever? We don't know. So, uh, the overall total points. <laughs> Scott was zero. And oh, Jesse leading the game with 25. I apologize so? to all my fans for disappointing. That was a beatdown. Well done, Jesse Swift. Hey, that was exciting and yeah. tense. And yeah. I wasn't even keeping track of the score because during that, uh, um, yeah. what was it, the speed round, I was like, he's crushing the speed round. I got nothing. Uh, and nice job, Alex. Those were incredible questions. Thank that you. Was, that was, I think that was better than what I came up with, but that was Man. awesome. Super fun. So the you prize... Should... Oh, yeah. For this showdown is the official theater gonna... poster. Go ahead, Jesse. From the Iron Man movie. What? There we go. So, yeah, it's official theater merchandise right there. So... That's what started it all for Marvel. That's what started it all for Marvel. It's what created the superhero generation that we have today. That's impressive. That's a nice poster. The start of the Marvel Universe mark the start of my win streak in this tournament. Let's go, guys. I bring on all challengers. Tyler, let's wow. go. Bryce, Brad, anybody that wants to take me on, eventually, come for you, Alex. Hey, the, original, the original belt holder. I'm, I'm still the belt holder. You got to take that shot. We actually got a tiebreaker. Right? Maybe at that point, Scott should host because he could probably come up with some really great questions. That was, I don't know, that was a beatdown. That was good. Very well done. Yeah, thank nice you. job. No, thank good you, job, you Scott. It. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Alex. Of course. Thanks to the Fan Splash fans. Thank you, guys. Wouldn't be here without you guys. And uh, I think that wraps it up. Uh, awesome number two. Alex, your boss for hosting. Scott, thank oh, you very much absolutely. for coming. Yeah. And uh, I got some ointment if you need some. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was burn. That was a bad burn. Ouch. All right, guys. I was going to say Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also keeping the G, so my yeah. apologies. Uh, it's Preparation H. Um, <laughs> Plan B. <laughs> All right, guys. May the film be with you. Thanks for joining us. 
and we'll see you next time. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and keep an eye and an ear out for exciting new content. Be sure to follow us on all the social media sites. Twitter is at the Fansplash. YouTube, just search Fansplash. We've got an open Facebook network, Fansplash Network. Instagram is fan underscore splash underscore podcast. Soundcloud.com slash Fansplash. You can email us, thefansplash at gmail.com, and Reddit at r slash Fansplash. Title and end credit songs written by Jacob Hall. See you next time!